as long as we've done that much of I Got Rhythm, we might as well go ahead and do a, a full out chord solo for the tune. A chord solo is a solo in which, well, it's a great uh, method of playing for a jazz guitar player because you're playing chords to back yourself up and melody at the same time. What you usually do is put the melody towards the very top, the highest notes in, in the chords that you're playing so that it stands out more. Um, I'm using a finger style of playing using my thumb a lot and sometimes my fingers. A lot of, I've seen uh, a lot of other players get real similar sounds though with a flat pick, which is kind of amazing to me, but it can be done either way. Before we do the, uh, the chord solo for I Got Rhythm, I want to tell you about one substitution that I use when I play it. Uh, so a substitution is uh, a jazz technique in which you substitute one chord for another, and sometimes it's direct substitution, like playing a G6 instead of a G, or playing a G9 instead of a G7. That's where, you, if going back to the chord types, you stay within the chord type, but just add some little one interval to it. Um, like a seventh chord can turn into a ninth or a thirteenth. It's still just a fancier version of a seventh chord. But there's other kinds of substitution where you really get completely away from the uh, from the chord that you're, from the original chord. Um, in I Got Rhythm, sometimes instead of doing this six two five one thing that we were doing, for the instead of playing the six, I'll play the the G with the third in the bass. Um, no, that's instead of the one, I'll play the one with the third in the bass, and then instead of the six minor, I'll play this, the diminished chord. So it's instead of I've got, and it's just another variation of the same thing. You're still doing a six, two, five, one kind of progression. Okay, let's see. Here's a little finger style version of this tune. I've written down the chord grids to, and mapped out that arrangement of I Got Rhythm in your tab book, but I'm still going to slow it down a little bit and, uh, and play it for you at a more recognizable tempo so that you can try to get a, get a clearer picture of what my left hand is doing. I also have to confess that I threw in another little interesting substitution. Uh, the last, the third time I did the 6251 thing, um, I did this little sort of blues turnaround thing um, of going G to G seventh to C to C minor and then one five one. Now that's a typical blues turnaround. That's that's actually used in a lot of blues tunes. You can take it all the way back to the key of E and go like that, and and it turns up in zillions of tunes. It's one of those standard progression things that I was talking about. So uh, slowing down, I got rhythm in that arrangement, you get something like this. Bridge. 